Rough Buff, I'm, I'm glad you just came back in here. So I don't want you thinking that I'm not giving you guys your respect. The Buffalo Bills, ladies and gentlemen, they are three and one as well. Uh, they were seven and nine last year and two teams that they beat that you have to give them credit for. One was at home, but one was on the road. They beat the Atlanta Falcons last week, which sucks because I was at the game to watch that. But they also beat the Denver Broncos. And, and we really thought, or I really thought that the Denver Broncos was going to shut them down. And it was going to be a long, long, long day for Buffalo. But it wasn't that, you know. Uh, so you got to give credit to the Buffalo Bills. They are sitting atop the AFC East right now. They are number one in the AFC East over the New England Patriots. So rough and rough buff says uh, Falcons was light work. Now, rough, hold up. Let's just stop right there. You know, we're not, I'm not going to go into in depth about it, but it's not like y'all came and y'all just took over you know, the game and, and won by 21 or anything like that. That game could have been over. Matt Ryan just didn't make the play. The guys didn't make the play that they needed. So slow it down, Fuquan, suppose. But, hey, it is what it is. You're three and one. So we got to got to got to acknowledge that. So uh, moving into almost the end of the show. Again, you listen to the Wait a Minute Show with your man, Jelani J.P. Bodie, and I appreciate y'all chilling in here with me. So my top three games for this week, week five, we got teams that's on buys like Denver, Washington, Atlanta, and New Orleans are on buys this week. So my top three games here. Number three, let's get into it real quick. Jacksonville versus Pittsburgh. I know y'all thinking like, what? Wait a minute, Jacksonville. Yeah, that Jacksonville. So here, here's the reason I got this. We're really going to find out what Jacksonville is about. You know, Jacksonville did. They 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 gave the business in London to the Ravens. So I, I, I give them that. But we know the Ravens and Joe Flacco and everything. They have these little funks that they get into. You know, I'm not trying to take anything away from it, but it is what it is. You know, they played the Saints, you know, they beat them, you know, and and, and they calling themselves Saxonville. So now we're really going to find out w- what Jacksonville uh, is. Are, are are they this this nasty defense with with this man child and Leonard Fournette, you know, running the ball? Uh, or has this been Fugazi a little bit, you know, with with their um with their team and their wins, you know, they just start now uh, on a good note. So that number three, number two, the Detroit Lions versus the Carolina Panthers. And the reason I say this, I said this uh, two weeks ago, uh, Atlanta versus Detroit, but also another Detroit taking on another NFC South team. Both teams are three and one. Uh, this could be a nice uh transition or 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 a stepping stone you know for both teams or, or, or who may win uh is cam newton you know the guy that we saw last week or is he the guy that we saw playing against buffalo you know matthew stafford we already talked about his contract and everything so far so good he's keeping them in the games but you know you got it you can't go through the entire season winning games by less than eight seven six points you know, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. You, you want to, to put an exclamation mark on someone and, and Detroit's defense is pretty good. You know, uh, the offense is nice as well. So Matthew Stafford got to, got to get that team and they got to get that running game. I keep harping on it. They got to get that running game, you know, going, uh, Carolina, uh, they're, they're, they're down Greg Olson. So they're finding, uh, they're finding, success with guys like Devin Funches, you know, he's coming back home. Uh, he played for the university of Michigan, go blue. And, and of course he's going to want to show out, you know, at home in front of the hometown, you know, when he get there, but they they are going to have to establish, you know, the passing game to open up those lanes for guys like Jonathan Stewart and Christian McCaffrey and also Cam Newton. He doesn't run the ball like he used to, but he is still a threat to take off with the ball. And my last Game that we need to watch of the top three that's going on in week five in the NFL. It's a rematch. Green Bay versus Dallas. We don't even need to go into all that other other stuff. I'm hoping 
you know, uh, we get Ty Montgomery and he'll be able to play, you know, in this game. But basically, you know, we we're living off of what last year game was, which to me was by far the best game that year. Playoffs or non-playoffs. It was bananas. The way they, you know, Dak was moving up and down the field, you know, and and, and Aaron Rodgers with the pass that he made. And, you know, I, that game was just awesome. So we're just looking for something like that. Uh, hopefully, well, we'll see. I'm not going to say hopefully. We'll see if, if Zeke will play as well because that is still, you know, hanging over his head. That could come down at any moment. And if it does and, and – the suspension is reinstated it will be immediately so he may may or may not play you know this game this weekend but Dallas versus Green Bay to me will be you know a game to keep an eye on so again top three Jacksonville versus Pittsburgh number two Detroit and Carolina and last but not least Green Bay Packers versus the Cowboys uh so I'm gonna go ahead and, and finish up the show uh and and you know I have a lot of stuff at the end of the show with, you know, Biggest Losers, uh, you know, uh, or Big L Award, I'm sorry, or, you know, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I want to make sure I, this is, you know, a, a really good, good thing that I want to point out and, and sign off on with some, some uh, positive, you know, information, you know, because we live in a world that gives us a lot of negative stuff in the world. So, uh, if you haven't seen it, you know, um, you can go to the Falcons website and see this, but, uh, Arthur Blank surprised Warwick Dunn and, and people who may not remember Warwick Dunn, uh, 12th overall pick, you know, in the NFL draft, he played for Florida State and he got drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which J.B. Jennings, you should know. Uh, and he was Offensive Rookie of the Year in 1997 and earned himself three Pro, uh, Pro Bowl selections. So uh, he spent time in Tampa Bay, but he also came to Atlanta where he spent 2002 to 2007 uh, with the Atlanta Falcons, him and my man T.J. Duckett, you know. Uh, and this brother has one done great things on the field but also he's done great things off the field and and the reason that you know I bring this up is that Arthur Blank like I said he brought him into his office and he informed him that this season he is going to be inducted into the Falcons ring of honor and in in that Falcon ring of honor you know it's something it's basically like the hall of fame for you know a, a team every team has it they have a ring of honor you know, so it's like their Hall of Fame uh, on, on their team. And it's well-deserved because, again, like I said, not only what he's done on the field, but it's really what he's done off of the field. Uh, for for those who don't know, is that he has the Warwick Dunn Charities uh, uh, program, and also he has another program called Homes for the Holidays. Uh, and, and this Home for the Holidays, basically what it does, it rewards. And let me go back. I'm sorry. And, and Warwick Dunn actually was a Walter Payton uh, recipient award winner, uh, in 2004, the man of the year. So that is for someone who does great work in their community. So please do not forget that. But Warwick Dunn, uh, Home for the Holidays, that program is basically a reward single parent families, uh, to reach in their first time home ownership. So, you know, the, uh, recipients is chosen from uh, an organization called Habitat for Humanity that is associated with Warwick Dunn. And they have, uh, assisted with uh furnishing and down payment assistance you know for a single parent to get a house to raise their kids in and and I was raised in a in a home and I can tell you it was great you know growing up in a home having a yard playing in the front yard and all that stuff so anyone that's grown up you know in a house know you know all about that uh and now I know this number is higher but it 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 have him assisting over 150 single parents. So I know that's a lot more that they were saying this was in 2012. So yeah, that's obviously definitely more, you know, than that. But also just to show you how this thing, um, that, that goes around and, and impacts people. We were just talking about, you know, Deshaun Watson. And in 2006, one of those homes were, uh, given to Deshaun Watson's family. You know, and of course, we know he went on to play for, you know, Clemson, you know, and all that stuff. And now he's in the NFL. So it just shows you, you know, what, you know, 
uh, uh, someone that may be down on their luck or just, you know, having tough times and helping them out, what it can do, you know, for an individual. It doesn't necessarily have to be the NFL. It doesn't have to be the NBA. It doesn't have to be, you know, you're the president or you don't have to be, you know, it's just being able to lead, live a, a full life, you know, and, and, and a happy life. And, and this program with uh, what Warwick Dunn has, you know, allows people to do that. You know, it gives them a shot. So for me, I wanted to point this out because it's more, you know, this whole ring of honor is great. And it's going to honor him for, you know, his his uh, contributions to the football team. But it's also going to be what he did off of it. So it's a, it, it's an opportunity to, you know, give credit to a, a, a very, very good athlete, but also a, a even better man so we need you know um more stories like this you know that that goes on and talk about these guys because we always talk about the negative and i just wanted to bring out some positive before we you know sign off so again ladies and gentlemen that is the end of my show who do this beat for me Farrow, Jaro. that's right and I'm going to get out of here tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mocha Bella said they need three more players for DraftKings. So holla at Mocha Bella if you need to uh, get down and get some money. But I want to send some love to the people that was listening out there on the airways. Even if you went in the chat room, I appreciate all of y'all for listening. But my, my people's in the chat room, my listeners, Big L, Mocha Bella, Rough Buff, Angry Black Man, Three, three, four, Bama boy. Yo, I see you in there. The governor of Minnesota, Vince Wright, Ben, BS3 Sports. Happy belated birthday to you, bruh. Uh, who else we got in here? Big L, Mac Pharrell, uh, Sed is in here as well. Angry Black Man, JB Jennings, uh, also join us. And if I'm forgetting, oh, Gaylor, Armor, Survivor, Finest, Kesey, uh, from the Kicking It With Kesey show as well. That boy, Chucky. Anybody else that was in here listening, I'm sorry if I miss you, but I want to thank you for chilling with your man tonight, your boy Jelani, JB Bodie, and my man Low Pan. And be safe. Enjoy the rest of the week. Head into the weekend strong. Live life. Tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody, just pay somebody a, 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 a compliment. You know, I like your shoes. I like your attitude. Whatever. You, you never know how far it may go for somebody day that might have been having a strong, uh, a rough day. So for your man, Jelani, JB, Bodie, and my boy, Lopez, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here and we'll holler at y'all again. So two things as always. Stay positive and push forward. And I'll holler at y'all later. Lopez, let's go. <laughs>